In this section, we will begin creating advanced movement for our platform in game. All the code will be explained as it is written, and it should be easy enough to understand if you have watched the previous topics. In this topic, we will begin by setting up the required variables for use in the game. These variables will provide the main stats for the player object and allow us to edit things easily later on. To begin, create a new object and name it OBJ Player. Remember, GML is case sensitive, so if you use a capital, you will need to use that in the code as well. Now add a create event and drag in a code block. With the object set up, we are ready to begin typing our variables. We will start with variables to store our controls. We would need three variables for this one for jumping, one for left, and one for right. Simply type key underscore right equals vk right. Key underscore left equals vk left and key underscore jump equals vk space. This initializes our variables and they are ready for use later. Now we can move on to the player stats. The stats will include speed, maximum speed, acceleration, deceleration, jump power and gravity power. We should simplify these names to make things easier later on though. Type stat SPD equals zero. This variable holds the player's current speed. We don't want the player to move when it's first created, so we set this to zero. Next, type stat underscore max underscore SPD equals eight. This holds our maximum speed in pixels. We don't want the player to speed off out of the game room, so we limit the speed they can move. Next, type stat axel equals one. Then on a new line, type stat decel equals 1. These variables hold our acceleration and deceleration values. When a key is pressed, the player's current speed will be affected by these values. When it comes to optimizing the game, it would be best to only use one variable as both hold the same value. The reason we have created two variables is so that it is easier to edit later on. Should we want the player to slow down over a longer period of time, we can lower the stat decel variable. The final two are stat underscore jmp for jump, and we'll set that to 10. And then stat underscore grav, or grav, which stands for gravity, and we'll set that to 1. The first variable holds our jump power. We will use it to send our player flying into the air when the jump key is pressed. The second variable is for our gravity power. While the player is in the air, this value will be added to the player's vertical speed, which will eventually pull them back down to the ground. That's it for the variables we need. We are now ready to type out our code for the movement itself. You should now have a good idea of all the variables involved and what they are used for. In the next topic, we will move on to typing our movement code.